Chapman Stained Glass is a firm that was started by a gentleman named William B. Chapman. Uh, he was Irish, English, um, emigrated to this country, and began the company uh, in 1898 here in Albany, New York. It's never uh, been out of Albany, New York. It's been in continuous operation since that time, uh, incorporated in 1900. My father, the way I'm associated with this, my father got involved in this business uh, in 1949, a returning World War II veteran. He'd worked in the ceramics trade, studied art, but had actually answered an ad for uh, a stained glass individual uh, uh, to help work and apprentice in the studio. And he was, uh, he felt he'd ceramic in color, uh, stained glass and color and light. Um, he felt he had a, a bit of a, a footing there, so he applied and took the job and he stayed with it for over 50 years. So I apprenticed uh, with my dad, uh, and at that time Chapman's was a, it was a throwback in time, very interesting place. And they took me through all facets, uh, from design uh, to manufacture uh, to installation. And uh, I'm happy to be able to carry on that tradition uh, where my father left off and continue. And I actually uh, have two sons, uh, that have been working with me to learn the trade as well, so that there's continuity. So the window, uh, when the library called us here at Chapman's to come down and evaluate, the window was the first step. And we're uh, excited to find two windows made by two of the, the probably the most preeminent manufacturers, uh, unique manufacturers in the country, one being uh, the Tiffany window, of which this is a small section of, and the other window made by a firm called Henry Belcher Studios. Both windows are unique. The Tiffany window, in that his name is synonymous with uh, quality and beauty for the stained glass industry. When Louis Comfort Tiffany was alive and his studio was in operation, I believe, from the you know 1870s to the 1920s, he was preeminent in both design and manufacture, very prolific, made over 5,000 windows, both secular and liturgical. Um, was a man of great talent and uh, vision. And the Washingtonville Moffett Library is very fortunate to have two fine examples uh, of both Tiffany's work and Belcher's work. Henry Belcher uh, operated from 1880 to 1890. And his work was unique in that it was all mosaic. Um, the process is in quite involved. These windows have to be first documented. Very important that the windows are documented so that we, we learn as much as we can possibly learn about them. This is when you, you're you know, following the footsteps of someone like uh, uh, Tiffany. You take an extra uh, measure of precaution to make sure that everything is very authentically uh, recreated just as he would have done it so that so that if he came back he would know no difference from how that window was assembled uh, to how it was reassembled so that's um, our goal here our mission is to preserve that window or conserve that window in exactly the same manner that it would have been constructed and it's a process it's a process that's going to keep you know three to four men busy over the next three months to to document it to dismantle it to clean it. Each piece, after it's removed from its original lead cane, each piece is going to be painstakingly cleaned so it's right back to original. Then the lead is going to be ordered uh, simultaneously. You know, at that point, um, we get all our materials in, we'll study any glass that is broken and either match it if there's any pieces missing. Our first goal is, is to preserve what's there. So originality counts very heavily to us. So we'll look at, uh, in every instance we can, we'll save original glass. And if there's a crack within a piece of glass, quite often we'll copper foil it, which is a technique that Tiffany did to preserve it. If the piece is broken to a point or damaged in such a way that aesthetically it, it harms the window's look, then we'll look at replicating it. And that we either, uh, we have a, a good selection of, of aged glass here or if we can't match a piece of glass quite often, we'll actually have it manufactured. We'll take the sample, send it to 
uh, one of several uh, glass manufacturers that we deal with. In this instance, the glass on, on both these windows from the Moffat Library is in, uh, after the first initial evaluations, is in very good condition. When you look closely at it, you'll notice that there's a wave to it. There's what we call deflection in the panels. And what has happened over time, um, since let's say the 1890s, this window has, has begun to, to buckle. And every stained glass window has those issues over time. The glass does not deteriorate as does the, the lead matrix that holds it together. And that's what, that's what really our, our goal is here and our mission is here, is that we're going to replace all that lead work. And it's, for all intents and purposes, it's going to restore this window to brand new. And just to, I feel so fortunate to have had the chance to work with men who really had gone through apprentice trades to learn this craft. Um, and that had phased out in this country, uh, and I'd like to see it come back, but it was such a wonderful time to, and I just caught the tail end of it, but, but feel very fortunate I did, that, that you, you saw the quality. They were so measured, their work was so focused, um, and you, you, from that you got excellence. And I'm sure, I, I almost think, you know, uh, it would have been similar to a, a Tiffany's studio in the day. You know, the, the people that, that worked there were so concentrated on, on the goal to, to create the finest work. And we still try to carry that on here. You know, we do, it's not often that you get commissions. You know, the, the money that drove these things back then is, isn't around like it was in the, the late 1890s when the country was, was growing. Um, but that's why you saw the zenith, uh, you know, the 1890s and 1920s really saw the zenith of the stained glass trade. And that there was the money, there was the motivation, and there was the talent to create these pieces that now are, are you know, priceless to us. So it's, it's uh, wonderful to be connected to something that allows you to have a, a, a small part in that. And uh, for that we're grateful to, to uh, the men that built them and women that built them. Tiffany employed quite a few women. He actually felt uh, um, their attention to color detail and their dexterity was in some cases better than men. So he employed a lot of women, which is kind of interesting when you think back that time period. Um, but yeah, that we're associated with that and, and with the, the library, you know, to give uh, uh, Chapman stained glass the opportunity to work in these windows, it's a, 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 some of a great source of pride and, and uh, uh, motivates us all to, to give our best when we work on these windows.